hi guys how are you doing i hope you are doing well thank you so much for tuning in it's your girl kami so you guys recently t-pain exposed his dms to the public and this brought a lot of controversy and t-pain now explains the reason why he had to do so so you guys i want you to hear the reason why t-pain exposed his dm to the public so listen to what he had to say i feel like i need to clear up some things i mean obviously i gotta clear up something right but just the common things i've been seeing uh regarding you know the insta the, the instagram and tiktok of me missing all my instagram dms uh first of all i'm only 36 i'm 36 years old i'm not 50 and i'm not i'm, I'm not a boomer it's okay i understand the beard has been here for a long time you don't understand how a 17 year old can have a beard i came in with the beard i'm gonna leave with the beard i'm not shaving it so i can look younger for everybody else uh secondly i do have a social media manager which is literally the only reason i even went back to that request folder story was when when the request folder actually first happened i went there before i actually knew about it i went there before and it was just all thousands and thousands of messages just like can i buy you a drink Ooh, my sister's a bartender can you follow her on here <laughs> so i immediately i was like okay fuck this never going back there again that's that's a wasteland i'm not going i'm not clicking that shit ever again and then i hired my uh i hired my social media manager and then uh, a couple of days ago he was like yo you ever check your request folder and I'm like, I mean, I, I've been there before, but it's just like all corny fucking buy you a drink and bartender jokes. I'm not going back in that motherfucker. And he was like, dude, no, it's not. And I was like, yeah, yes, it is. He was like, wait, when you go on there, do you, do you, do you search for all the messages or just the top messages? I was like, well, I didn't know you can filter it. He was like, next time you get on Instagram go there and filter it by top messages and just blue checks holy shit out of fucking everywhere and i'm like no fucking way all these people got mixed up in the fucking buy you a drink jokes and the and the and the listen to my demos and you won't be disappointed which i am immediately every time fucking disappointed all the time every time never fucking ceases to amaze me but all these blue checks got mixed up in that so i just stopped going so yes i do have a social media manager um and another thing for the people that saying it's like childish or uh saw a nigga say it was immature of me to put up them dms nobody's trying to holler at me on there this is all just regular shit hey how you doing blah 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 and like what if somebody just texted you two years after the last time you text them and they said yo my bad i missed your text you don't be like what the fuck yeah right motherfucker you need something don't you you want some money don't you you need twenty dollars to get to the bank or some shit don't you then you'll pay me back once you get there nah if somebody show you all the fucking messages they missed from the same fucking time period then you'd be like okay you was obviously going through something for the last two years i can feel that so that's why i did that but uh yeah it wasn't it wasn't nothing serious like that uh, i have hit back the people that i felt needed the immediate response i did hit back miss davis i'm so sorry I'm so sorry. Also, Instagram. Come on, man. Give us like some give us some shit where you know, you can just get easily to all the blue checks. The UI is just out of control. The number of people, celebrities, just normal motherfuckers, everybody, but the the number of people that have hit me and said they didn't know that folder was there either. That has to tell you something. It ain't just me. It is older people though. Fuck. Damn it. Here's the goddamn fact of the matter. Uh, for everybody that said, man, you ain't seen your request folder. I saw it before. It's a wasteland. It's full of demos and Wisconsin jokes. I get that. Here's the thing though. I don't fucking sleep and eat on goddamn Instagram. I think everybody just needs to understand that. That's not just something I just do all the time. I'm not just going like, bro, I'm the simplest motherfucker. When it comes to any social media app, I learn how to post and I learn how to get the fuck off of that bitch. It's not there for me. I'm not looking at my home page. I'm not looking at y'all motherfucking pages. I'm chilling. I, 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 I'll, I'll go up and down real quick just to make sure ain't nobody saying no shit about me real quick. And then I'm fucking out. Maybe take a break. Maybe take a break. Maybe you know how to work the bitch too well. 
Maybe you're doing too much. You're doing too good on that bitch. Just come on. Help yourself out for a second. Take a goddamn break. The amount of people that's like, oh, you don't know how to work Instagram. You don't know how to work Instagram. You must be 50 years old. I'm 36. Let that shit go. But yeah, bottom line is, I fucked up. I didn't know you was able to put a filter on the shit. And for everybody applying the uh, the amount of people you have on your shit, oh, don't you get notifications when people hit you? You think I got notifications on? Do you see how many people hit me? And that's just the celebrities. You think I got notifications on? No. Why the fuck? Oh, my God. That's what I'm saying. You need to unplug from that motherfucker for a second. If you get notified and you got to scramble for your phone every time that bitch ding to see who fucking hitting you, you need to calm the fuck down. That's it. That's too goddamn much. Chill. For real. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Looking at the shit, it is pretty fucking funny. But, uh... Yeah, I'm going on a motherfucking dm thon and we'll see who hits back. A lot of people have hit back already. You don't really just lose interest in something like that, so. Y'all boys be good, y'all boys. And, uh, yeah, peace the fuck out. I don't have anything to promote. This wasn't like a promotion th uh, thing, so. Guess I'll see you when it's time to drop music again, I guess. Or not, I just, whatever. This wasn't for that, so. I was today years old when I found out about the request folder on Instagram that's full of celebs trying to reach me. Dude, is that Fergie? SMH. Oh lord, I missed a mirror. I've been accidentally straight up ignoring all these people for like two years. I thought DMs are supposed to just show up in a normal folder, and you don't have to go digging for all these. I apologize to everybody on this list, and the hundreds of others I couldn't fit in this video. These are just the ones I haven't checked and replied to. Yup. I'm stupid. Okay. Okay, straight to the topic. So tipping, apparently, uh, the man had to check DM. So tipping can finally check a DM today. Right? Tipping can also many celebrities with the trial, you know, reach out. It can't be very much, of course, everybody will get blue tick by celebrity to tipping, so tipping don't really know who you But then, the copy name was there, as expected. Of course, he has every reason and right to DM those people. So they do music, so she could have, you know, wanted to ask tipping for a collaboration. The DM was still, I don't understand. Juliet. Ibrahim. I say it again. Juliet Ibrahim. What did Juliet Ibrahim possibly go on 30 pay when her dear with the tipping? I don't understand. See, we give you 48 hours to tell us what you go for the for the uh, tipping DM. Because I don't see all tipping get for no one fair issue. Not a follow up. You know, if I would get that, I would be saying, Timaya, they here for yes. You just let me to Timaya's DM. Let's call it Spain. But you see, that's your phone. <laughs> you know?